everyone, Desiree here. So in this video, I'm gonna show you my Jelly Traveler's Notebook. I don't know if I can really call it a setup, but uh, I wanna say maybe a couple weeks ago, I did an unboxing of this when I uh, first got it in the mail. And I can't tell you, uh, so many of you have asked me, you know, how do I like it? How am I using it? Do I have it set up yet? You know, can I share? Um, an update on what I think and since I did have a few of you ask me about it because you were wondering you know I guess my opinion because you were thinking about ordering it I figured I'd go ahead and make a video and let you guys know exactly what I think and how I'm using it and uh, how it's working for me now if you're not familiar with this I guess type of travelers notebook I guess it's being called like a jelly Traveler's Notebook because it's made from like a a PVC kind of vinyl plastic, I guess. You know, the same kind of material that the jelly shoes uh, from back in the, I want to say the 80s, I guess, were really popular. So this is like a plastic material and um, it's, it's a very beautiful, beautiful notebook. And if you haven't seen the unboxing, I'll go ahead and link that either at the end of this video or down below. But um, I did want to answer the question, you know, about how I'm using it. Now, because this is, it's such a, a different type of material than what we're used to when it comes to traveler's notebooks. I have to say that I found this not to be um, useful for me as as an actual traveler's notebook what I have found is that I am basically just using it for storage I have uh, one two three four I have six inserts in here right now and again I'm not using this as an actual notebook I'm just using it to hold inserts now one of the things um, that I was concerned about when I did buy this was and if you can see, it's it's a very thin uh, plastic. So even though it is plastic, you know, I'm not worried about it is you know tearing or ripping or anything. It's just a little bit too floppy and a little bit too um, I, I guess flimsy for me to use as an actual traveler's notebook, like to take on the go. I just I I I just wouldn't. Um, trust it to everyday normal wear and tear like I would one of my leather notebooks. Now it came with four elastics on the inside, no pockets, and again it's it's very beautiful but I would say this is more of a decorative uh, traveler's notebook as opposed to like a functional traveler's notebook. It's made by Salty Katie and I really do love uh, her products you know don't don't think that I'm I'm hating on on her product it's just this particular thing just didn't work for me in the way that I had hoped it would now the other problem I had with this was uh, the reinforced spine which I did not know it came with the reinforced spine or maybe I did but it did not give me the option to choose a size and so what happened for me was I found that the spine was a bit too wide like it was just too big of a spine and so I had to to basically fill this up because otherwise um, the notebook just it it just didn't you know it just the shape just wasn't right and I'll show you what I mean so So as you can see, if you don't have if you don't have enough inserts in here, you're still gonna have this, you know, this kind of squared off part here, and then you may only have like one or two inserts and it just won't fill it up right. And I hope that makes sense. So I I put six inserts in there just because I didn't I didn't want it to be to lay, you know, to be weird like that. So, you know, I wish um, I wish I had a choice of whether or not 
to have a reinforced spine because I would have chosen not to have one or I would have chosen to have one that was a lot smaller than this because this spine is an inch and a half which in my opinion is 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 kind of big because that means it can accommodate about six inserts so um, I would have preferred either a half inch spine or maybe a one inch a one inch spine at the most now the um, elastics were really loose on here so I tightened them up so that's why you see you see this kind of bending that way but that's because I like my elastics tight. So, let me go ahead and put all this back in so you can get an idea. Now, I probably could still put in um, a couple more inserts, you know, using jump bands if I wanted to, but I'm finding that this is okay, at least for now. And don't get me wrong, it's it's a very, very pretty notebook. I just I just don't um I just wish it, it I, I just wish this was maybe just a little bit thicker, like a thicker um a thicker plastic, you know, kinda like the ones that are on the clear ring binders and on the uh the clear traveler's notebooks that I got on Amazon. It's the same material, it's just thicker. This is really, really thin. Okay, so you can see that I have six, oops, I have six inserts in here, and that, you know, it fills up the space in here so the spine is not too big, and I hope that makes sense the way I explained it, and then, um, yeah, you know, uh, like I said, I, I just can't use it you know, as an actual planning notebook, but it works perfectly just to store inserts, which is what I'm doing. It's very pretty, and it's a lot of fun. And um, yeah, I just wish it were a little bit more functional for me, even if it had like some pockets on the inside. Like if, you know, had you had another layer of this thin material sewn in to make a pocket, that would give this a lot more uh, durability and maybe make this not so um, flimsy. But other than that, you know, I think, I think it's beautiful and I do think it's a lot of fun. You know, and it's a good way to, um, you know, like I said, store inserts or maybe if you have stickers or something, it, that would work really well in here too. All right, everyone. Well, I hope this answers the question about how I'm using my Jelly Traveler's Notebook by Salty Katie. If you have any more questions or comments, feel free to drop those down below. Uh, that's it for this one. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch. If you're not subscribed, please make sure you do so because I do have a lot more videos to come. All right, everyone. I'll definitely see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.